Hey guys, just an update on the uh, ball turner. Um, made a decent length handle for it and just put a simple knob on for now. Maybe at some point we'll have a ball on there, but the uh, things that I've still got to attend to, bearing in mind this is very much a prototype, really. You know, as I think I said, it was made totally on the fly. Um, I made a new pin for this and uh, it's about a thou tolerance but unfortunately it's still let me just zoom in a bit yeah there's a certain amount of rocking on here although everything's level across the uh, compound I'm not sure yet quite why that's rocking so easily. I think what I might do is um, get some real miniature bearings and uh, put some miniature bearings, one top, one bottom and then a smaller pin but a very tight fit in the bearings. I can get over the problem just by keeping a little bit of pressure on there so it's not insurmountable but otherwise the biggest problem is and here's a test piece I've been trying out <clears throat> the problem is the uh, clearance the tool post is coming up against the larger diameter here and the tool is not going to get in round the back so we've got to make a change to that possibly a completely different design of tool post and I'm going to probably try a high speed steel cutter in here I've got a special drill coming so I can make a hole in some HSS and this I actually pre-drilled and tapped as one would do in the normal course of events And, uh, yeah, it's coming on all right. Let me try and get detail. But as you can see, I can't get round the back. I sort of expected that, but it's worse than I thought. Uh, I did even put a bit of profiling on the edges of the tool post to try and help, but uh, it's not going to be enough. So potentially we've got a certain amount of success, <laughs> but uh, we're not there yet. And uh, measuring my distance clearance from this to the base, I think my maximum ball size would be about inch and a bit, maybe inch and an eighth at a pinch. So we'll try some other ideas on that at some point. Everything, the biggest limitation to be honest, is just the fact there's no no depth here um, so it's going to have very limited application but for small work in fact the one thing I haven't tried yet is resetting it and doing a um, concave just a little bit of concave So I've got the option to do a bit of concave. Uh, I can't go a lot different on radius because I can't move this too far, I'll be in the way of the chuck. So this has all led to some uh, thoughts on different tool posts, possibly another version of the uh, sliding piece and make it more versatile within its limitations and I stress it's got limitations 
but uh, well, I'll try and improve on it anyway sort of thing it won't get used a lot but that actually is not too bad that cutter's actually doing quite well on there so there might be the odd application where I need a bit of back radius but as I say several things need change so at some point I'll give you a further update if we get some improvement although I've got other projects to get on with but anyway <laughs> Uh, for now, thanks for watching.